Well, it's quarter past five. I just stopped for something to eat. I've been serenaded by a couple of garden warblers, and this is the old Bailey Bridge. That's the path that goes down to the canal. And this is the old Bailey Bridge. I'm sitting on the other half of it, just here having something to eat. There used to be a bridge here. And it used to go across the river over there to Fordwich. We used to walk up quite often before we fit started fishing for which we had access to it we had permission to fish you know on the same ticket you all used to be Canterbury and District in them days but when we first started I think some of my mates weren't members of it. I don't know why we never fished forward which perhaps we just got in the habit of going to, to the canal at Westbury presumably these concrete structures that the bridge used to see on there must be two more over there I just can't get over how narrow this river looks everything looks much smaller and the garden warblers are shut up I was hoping to get, get them on the oh, I can just hear one up the river there was one in somewhere over there I couldn't see it it was in those bushes over there but anyway, the, this Bailey Bridge was fascinating because it used to create some shade. And this river, the river's pretty coloured today because we had quite a lot of rain yesterday. Just had a bit of a thunderstorm just now, typically, when I sat down to have something to eat. But anyway, but they used to... Oh, there's a garden warbler singing. And a wren. And a chaffinch. They were both singing, like having a duel, both singing together. But anyway, yeah, they, they, no, no uh, weed used to grow here. So you could climb underneath the bridge and see the fish under the bridge. It was absolutely fascinating. We spend hours under there sometimes, and we get, well, perhaps not hours at a time, but a cumulative hours. We'd climb under the bridge and look in this stretch of water because there was a lot of stream weed in them days. And the fish, you, you know, were obviously were good at hiding in it, but then you used to get this narrow strip as wide as the bottom of the bridge where the, the light didn't, didn't allow the, uh, the darkness to stop the weed growing. And uh, no weed used to grow, and it was just you see the fish full on in the shade. I never used to fish this very often. I caught my best ever roach around that corner on the river. I don't know how big it was. It was about a pound and a half, I think. I never I never used to do a lot of uh, river fishing. I once saw an enormous perch under the river, in the river here, under the bridge. Not under the river. It's impossible. Well over two pounds absolutely huge to us in them days anyway it's hard to put a, put a put a number on it and that's four which over there and I spent many happy years carp fishing trying to empty the lake great fun it was too right the set for the day I think I'm gonna to have to think about going home got a couple of miles walk and 13 mile bike ride ahead of me right that'll do right over and out